there is a service going on at the same time in Nebraska. Um, my mom, her uh, husband, my sister Pamela, and a few friends. Is that the one that I met here? Yes. Your sister? Yes. Are in Nebraska doing a celebration of life. So I wanted us to at least uh, <coughs> say our piece to Gabrielle. So to start the service, um, I'd like to introduce my good friend, Chaplain Dan Cook. All right. Thank you. From the information I was able to glean at this point, I never met Gabrielle, of course, but I hear, I understand that she was very faithful for her devotion to her Lord and Savior. Friendly, very conversive, very conversational. She just became a grandmother not too long ago, so I'm glad she got to do that before things changed. The thing I like, too, is that she was a fellow traveler. Uh, myself, I could be on the road all the time. Uh, when I had an RV, I met a lot of people that hadn't been home for five years. You know, go down to Florida, Texas, Arizona for the winter, back up north in the summertime, just enjoying the best of life. It sounds like she liked to travel. The thing that uh, hit my uh, hop up here was that it sounds like, and you can confirm this, she spread her light wherever she traveled. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't do that. And it's always nice to meet a fellow traveler that uh, has something to share. And, you know, you can pick up energy from other people that have energy. Some people, for instance, an introvert will lose energy when they meet people. An extrovert will gain energy when they meet people. I consider myself to be an expert for the most part, even though I'm certified to be an introvert. I'll just go with uh, the expert. And that, and, and being a church greeter and being involved in organizations like the Rangers or the Disabled American Veterans, uh, I get my batteries charged. I feel better, and it makes me a better person, hopefully. And it sounds like that Gabriel uh, would have been a soulmate in that respect, fellow traveler. I'd like to open up with some uh, biblical citations, and then we'd like to have a prayer in this remembered service for Gabriel. The nice thing about this is that we'll meet her again, and the same thing with her daughter. And that's the hope and inspiration I think that we have as believers. Yet those that wait for the Lord will gain new strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. That is in Isaiah. And I like that. It really gives me that contrast that you've got to be connected with the Lord and that you won't get weary and that you can be like an eagle and see and travel. For grace you have been saved through faith and not that of yourselves. It is the gift of God. God gives us a gift. Grace is a free gift. The condition with grace is one condition. You have to accept it. If I give you something as a present or some item and you don't accept it, it's not consummated. It's not a gift. You haven't accepted it. Something we need to do individually. For the gifts and the callings of God are irrevocable. This is my favorite scripture. Once we're saved, once we're under the umbrella, God's gifts can't be taken back. You can't lose them. You can't screw it up. So many people think they've got to be rededicated, be baptized, re-whatever. That's not the case. That's not what the Bible says. And that's in Romans. But now, abide in faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. I don't think there's enough of it. I compliment people quite often. I try to be sincere about it. But most of us, when we run into people, it's so easy for, you, for them to want to tear you down. You don't look good today. 
uh, your shoes are worn out, when you're going to get a haircut, you know, take me for who I am and, and what I am. If I have fruit, accept it, and if you don't like my fruit, we can still be friends and hopefully you'll change your mind at some future date. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That to me is good news, eternal life. When we die, our soul still continues on. Eternity is forever and ever and ever. It never stops and never ceases. That to me is good news. I'd like to close with a prayer at this time. God, be merciful unto us and bless us. Cause your face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, and thy saving strength among all people. Let the people be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge them righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Especially do we pray that we may have your guidance to the end that we may each of us be saved through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, today, tomorrow, forevermore. Amen. Amen. Let's take uh, a few minutes now at this time to have a silent medication or thought about Gabriel and her passing, what she meant to us, what she left us with, and uh, the memories that we shall maintain, retain, for forever more until we see her again. You know, I thought the last couple days of writing down everything that, you know, you usually hear from people that, oh, I remember this, I remember that. But, you know, those are kind of like my stories. And you wouldn't know anything about those stories except for Gabby and I. So, as I do, I find little bits and pieces of poems. And here's a few ones that I decided I just kind of reminds me of Gabby. One, which is on the back of your card, which is uh, from Footprints, Footprints, is, Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you would walk beside me through life. But when I needed you most, I saw only one set of footprints in the sand. The Lord replied, I love you, and I would never leave you during your times of trial and suffering. When you see only one set of footprints, it's, wh it's when then I carried you. And that's from the poem Footprints. And so I also see that this little saying that says, Grieve not, nor speak of me with tears, but laugh and tell of me as if I was beside you. I can just see Gabby saying that. I know that she's probably right now up there beside my dad, talking to my daughter, and my grandmother and people that have uh, passed on for us. So, you know, I have this one song that I know that my daughter and I love. Uh, certain songs remind you of people when you hear of them. So because a song can take you back instantly to a moment or a place or even a person, no matter what else has changed in your world or life, that one song stays the same, just like that moment. And that's why I want to leave it, just as that moment, remember Gabby, however you wish, and know that she's at peace. <laughs> <laughs>